Hi Aries, this is Road to Row. Why are y'all cars like this? Um, Aries, I feel like you guys are going through a rough cycle here. Welcome to my older new subscribers. Hi guys. You guys know I just ramble and go right into the reading. Um, <laughs> but with the word in reverse, I feel like you guys are going through a rough cycle financially here. This could be like a personal reading for some. If it doesn't resonate, you can click off. Um, but with the seven of pentacles in reverse here, some of you guys felt took a financial hit here, or you feel like your hard work and love just isn't paying off. Like, you just feel really down about it, but you're trying to gather strength here. Or your person, who we're dealing with the Leo here, they're not seeing, or you are not seeing, like, a progress in a relationship here, and you're unhappy, and you're suspecting your person is in a third party. If not, you're just, just, if you're single, if you're, you know, by yourself, you're just mad at the fact that your love of, love life isn't growing the way you want it to with that seven of pentacles in reverse. And you're happy about this and you're making moves to maybe get a more uh, lavish so social life here. And maybe you're, you know, you, just, you can't sleep at night, you know, thinking about this. If you're in a relationship, you're thinking about this person potentially cheating on you and you can't sleep at night. And you want to balance things out. To get to the bottom of this, we're dealing with the Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here, Gemini, Libra, Aries. Um, or again, this could be you in a financial situation. Maybe you lost your job here and now you're, you know, going really slowly on finding new ways to start a new beginning here because we have the Seven of Pentacles here. This could potentially mean losing a job, starting from square one, and building your, you know, stableness and groundness back from this Queen of Pentacles in reverse here. Um, if not, this person wants to come in and make things right with you, but I'm not getting that. I'm getting more so you think this person is in a third party. But again, I'm going to start rambling, let's clarify, but I think this is more so you than your person. Or this person was surviving things out from putting you in a third party and they're taking their good ass time. Oop. Yeah. You're contemplating on if the situation is even going to work out. If this even person, if your person is even going to take action here. You know, or this could be you. You're contemplating on taking action. Yeah. I, I feel like this is you, uh, Aries. Because this is King of Wands here. Again, I'm reading energies here. Um, But I feel like this is you contemplating on even wanting to even be with this person because he was in a third party. Like, you feel like this can even progress. Or maybe you're holding out on your person because they had a third party and you feel disgusted on even being intimate with them. Um, Yeah. But I feel like for some, wow. Okay. You're going to get the strength to heal the situation with this person. I could be dealing with the Aquarius. Have a new start here. You're going to avoid this tire moment and try to turn this wheel around, heal with each other, and make things right. Or you're getting instructed to move on, start your own new stable beginning without this person. You knew this tire moment was going to happen, just not win because you're not passionately attracted to your person anymore. And you're starting a new will on your life, a new cycle in your life here. Yeah, you're unhappy. You want to manifest things that make you happy in your life. Or your person is coming out of this regret that they're at a distance with you. Yeah, and they, ooh, yeah, and they're sad. I guess you guys, you guys are both mirroring each other in this sad department here about the way this ended. Yeah, this person wants to come forward. You're working on a plan to come forward, or you're thinking about a plan to keep your money intact here because you went through a financial so loss that you know you can't walk away from. You got to balance this out. Or this person is planning to come towards you because they're really actively plotting here to come and try to make this work because they don't want to let you go. And with the Eight of Cups in reverse, they don't want to walk away and they want to balance things out with you. Ooh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Clarify the Nine of Swords. Yeah. This person can't sleep at night because they don't think that you care about them anymore. And you're not going to... And you don't want to work hard um, on this with that eight of... Oh my God, cars are flying everywhere. I'm sorry, guys. I'm rum reader. I'm everywhere. Um, they have anxiety that you don't want to move forward in this because you took your caring and nurturing side away from them. If this is you, you're having anxiety tonight. You're having these sleepless nights wondering why you can't sleep, Aries. It's because you're not taking care of yourself and your emotions. You're sitting up in reverse right now, Aries. Like, 
Get it together. You have to care and nurture yourself. Get back to this emperor's and you won't have the sleepless nights. When you get back to this emperor's, there is your money. You'll be acting right. Oh, y'all like my rhyme? All right, I'm done. <laughs> All right, I can't believe I just did that, y'all. Whoa. All right. Clarify temperance. Clarify temperance, because let's just move on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Trying to make binds out this toxic attachment, says... When the devil in the page of swords here, this was very petty communication. Like, I feel like if they do come around trying to balance things out, Aries, you're going to say some petty shit to them, Aries. Yeah. I feel like you're going to be petty and walk away and try to leave with this person and go let you. Who you dealing with, Aries, that don't want to let you go? Who you putting it on? Um, <laughs> but this person or you are seeing wisdom about the situation. But let's just clarify the six of swords. Yeah. You're heartbroken. Or they are. This person don't want to move on because they caused this heartbreak. What? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. They want to speak to you and balance things out because they cut off a lot of bad um Attachments that they had in the past and they see victory over these demons and they're unable to walk away from you. But and the witches are unsatisfied because they cause this heartbreak, but they don't want to walk away from you and I they're gonna be fighting pins and needles to try to get you back into their lives. Um because they're just really attracted to you. They're not going to let you go. They're going to try to get you here with a... It's going to be a small offer. I mean, not offer, but a small start here to get you some type of stableness to try to want the situation back. But look, Aries, they're coming in as a page of pentacles. You're coming in as a damn queen of wands. This is a mismatch here. So whew, I would leave the situation alone. They're showing up as a page. You're the queen. Look at that. But if they can give you this stability and groundness for some, I feel like you guys are just, you know, just if you can give me some type of stability, some type of little stableness, then we can try to make this work. And I feel like your person is giving you some type of little stableness, literally. So be careful. Yeah, but this person, maybe they cut out this other person that they were dealing with or they're coming in, you know, because they see you down on your feet and they want to come in and just tell you the truth, tell you how they feel, express their love for you. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I don't know if I said that. But they're hanging on, telling their feelings about you, creating this stability with you with this Nine of Swords. And obviously we're going to see why, of course, because they were dishonest here with that um ace of swords in reverse but yeah because you see how they really are <laughs> honestly but they're going to try to balance things out anyway with you but they're having conflict maybe other people are still involved yeah they don't know if you're gonna um want the situation back because maybe they left you high and dry in a financial situation here aries clarify this night yeah i feel like you're not gonna want them back because they just took too long yeah I feel like you're going to block your emotions out from them if they do come back. Because, yeah, you feel stuck. Wow. Oh, Aries, you you both feel stuck. Like, you feel stuck. Wow. Look at this, Aries. Ooh. You guys need to release and heal. Why are you guys blocking so much, Aries? Please talk to somebody. Meditate. Do yoga. See a therapist. You guys need to heal and stop keeping the shit in. This is only going to hurt you, Aries. This whole situation. I'm telling you right now, you got to let this go. Look at all these swords. Yeah. And focus on your finances. Focus on your health. Focus on your growth. Yeah. Because maybe this person got married to somebody else and you're just trying to block it out too. But either way, you're disappointed and you can't sleep at night, Aries. You got to let this go in March. Yeah, not enough. You're feeling like you're not enough. Frustrated in a relationship. Nine of Swords. Lack of confidence. Self-sabotage. Fair issues. Ego. Jealousy. Holy shit. Aries. Stop keeping your... Ooh, y'all are... Wow. Cars are... Smack me in the face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys don't want to hear this because this car literally smacked me in the face. 
Not dealing, hurt, avoiding conversation, call a person, about you still angry. Yeah. So you know what, Aries? You be angry. Keep being angry in March, but you will have to take time to heal. You keep playing it back over and over in your head, but you're going to learn from these past mistakes. This was meant to happen. The golden mirror, so bizarre, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Exactly. You got to heal from this, Aries. I... Ooh, calling friends, you guys, you know, don't want to talk about it. You don't want to deal with it, but you got to go within some way. Yeah, your love life's influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual black path. So if you're still like this, you're going to keep blocking yourself from getting the love. Sorry, guys, this card just fell. Giving a love that you deserve. Yes, have faith that love is coming in. Like, but you have to clear these blockages out or nothing's gonna come in. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Open the your emotions and this codependency is affecting you because you need to love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive here. So let's see. What else? Hold on. One of these cards were backwards. I swear I just saw that. Not, oh, sorry, guys. I thought one of the cards were backwards. <laughs> All right. Angel answers. What do you have for my Aries, guys? Open the heart. Ask, then I say that. Ask help and receive from others. You don't have to go through this alone, guys. And peaceful resolutions will come your way. If you ask help from others, peaceful revolutions will come your way so don't be afraid do not be afraid listen to your intuition and heal and recover look for i didn't even mean for it to come out look how it came out yes look for a sign this is your sign ask help from others and kind of peaceful revolutions recover focus on healing all right aries no that was kind of hard for um a few of you but focus on healing and just growth and self-love for the month of March. All right, Aries, I hope this helps. Thank you.